Let's create a teapot. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. Control 3 to subdivide. Right-click and Shade Smooth to smooth the surface. I'll add a shiny material for the mesh. Shift D to duplicate and Y to move on the Y axis while holding Control to snap to the grid. Let's work on the usual RGB color scheme. I'll increase the render subdivision level to 3 to match the viewport's subdivision level. Let's add a ground plane. S to scale, and R and Z to rotate in the Z axis. In Edit Mode's Edge Selection Mode, let's select this edge and type E and Z to extrude upward. Let's select this edge, Control B, to bevel and use the mouse wheel to add more segments. Please watch a tutorial listed in the description to match my final render settings, as I'm using a cloned look dev HDRI setting. I'll use the sky texture. Press Ctrl, Alt, and Numpad 0 together to set up the render view. If your keyboard doesn't have the numpad, please go to View, Align View, and Align Active Camera to View. There are two ways to focus blur in Blender. One is to use camera's depth of field, and picking a mesh to focus on. Now only the mesh in the middle is sharp, and the two other meshes are blurry. Another method is to create an empty object and use that as the depth of field object. The empty object one is better, because the mesh focus one is not always accurate. If we select the red mesh to focus on now, the red one will still be blurry, because camera is focusing on its origin instead of the end tip. To have the most accurate focus point in Blender, we must use an empty object as the focus object. A huge advantage for that method is the fact that we can actually move the depth of field focus point around by moving the empty object. I was going to demonstrate the empty object method next, but my blender crashed without any warnings. I didn't save, because it's been only 4 minutes. I lost the scene I've worked on so far. I believe most of the crashes that I experience while making tutorials is associated with an add-on called Screencast. 
Anyway, the crash will occur momentarily. There. It's all gone. Recover never worked. I'll recreate the scene from scratch. I'll compress time. Please save frequently when using Blender. Time compression turned off. Let's create an empty object and move it to the end tip of the first teapot like this. Let's set the empty object as the depth of field object. Select the empty object, and G and Y to move on the Y axis. Now the second mesh is focused, and the rest two are blurry. Now the blue mesh is sharp and the rest are blurry. This is how we blur certain parts of the scene freely in Blender. Let's turn off Use Nodes under Compositing. I'll also use 32 samples to render. This is the end of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.